hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to use ambient occlusion in 3gs so let's get started so firstly uh, this is the output which i have so one spear one plane as well as one torus uh, and i have created one project using wheat so you can just run this command and i have created a vanilla html css and typescript project uh, the important thing which you have to uh, do is Firstly, inside package.json, I have installed the 3GS dependency, so npm install 3, and here I have installed the types for 3GS uh, for my TypeScript support. Then uh, inside public, I have added this ambient occlusion as well as this color.jpg. Ignore other files, but uh, you can find these files on Google or use whatever uh, files, textures you have next inside index.html i have created this canvas i have assigned it some id and here i have assigned some style to it like position fix top left is zero and outline is none and here we are referencing our typescript file now if i go inside my typescript file these are all the imports for it uh, and here we are getting hold of our canvas element then we are creating one texture loader and here we are just calling texture loader dot load and here we are passing firstly the color.jpg file so this is the file uh, this is the thing uh, okay and here we are also loading ambient occlusion so ambient occlusion looks something like this so ambient occlusion basically it adds a realism to your textures that's what i understood but that's there is much more to it uh, then here we are just creating one scene i have created one mesh standard material we are passing our color texture now suppose i just uh, i have attached some metalness and reference as well to our material suppose i just comment out this ambient occlusion part and if i show you the output here you can see we don't have the have those uh, realism like those borders which we had but suppose if i add that ambient occlusion okay so something like this if i add it here you can see these borders are been added i can change the intensity if i want to so suppose i can change the map intensity to 10 don't do this this much like this looks extremely weird uh, you can keep the intensity as one maybe this looks fine but just to show it to you that okay what is ambient occlusion here you can see this all these borders which are been added uh, that is what ambient occlusion is and here you can see i have created three mesh one is spear plane uh, and torus we ro don't really need this i mean uh, yeah we do need this but i'm not really sure why we need this like i don't really understand what uh, similar thing you can do for spear as well as for torus but again i'm not really sure why we require this then i have just added this spear plane and torus to our scene and given that this is mesh standard material i have to add some ambient light and point light as well to make it visible uh, so this is the color and this is the intensity same for point light as well i have set some position to our point light and then added it to our scene then here i have set the sizes like the width and height here i have taken one perspective camera added it to our scene orbital controls are for orbit controls are just for uh, like rotation and translation if you don't want you can just ignore it then here i have created one webgl renderer here we are passing our canvas i'm setting the size for our renderer and on resize if the user tries to resize the browser then i just want to update the camera as well as on renderer and on double click we want to enter or exit the full screen mode here we are creating one clock we are getting the elapsed time as well and here we are just uh, changing or animating the rotation of spear plane and torus here we are updating our controls passing our renderer dot render and then we call it call window dot request animation frame pass our tick function and just call tick over here so as you can see uh, this is how our output looks like so yeah that's how you can use ambient occlusion in 3gs thank you for watching bye